Welcome to this travel guide video, where I will show you the best places to visit in New Zealand. New Zealand is a stunning country with diverse landscapes, rich culture and friendly people. Whether you are looking for adventure, nature or relaxation, you will find something to suit your taste in this amazing destination. In this video, I will explore 10 of the most popular and beautiful places in New Zealand and give you some tips on how to make the most of your trip. Let's get started. Milford Sound Milford Sound The first place on our list is Milford Sound, a fjord in the southwest of New Zealand's South Island within Furland National Park. Milford Sound is one of the most spectacular natural attractions in the world, with its towering peaks, cascading waterfalls, and jaw-dropping views. It has been described by Rudyard Kipling as the eighth wonder of the world's seven. The best way to experience Milford Sound is by taking a boat cruise, which will take you along the 15-kilometer long fjord and show you some of its highlights, such as Mitre Peak, which rises 1,692 meters above the Water 7, Lady Bowen Falls, and Stirling Falls 7. You can also opt for an overnight cruise, which will let you enjoy the fjord under the stars and wake up to a stunning sunrise. If you are feeling adventurous, you can also try kayaking, diving, or flight seeing in Milford Sound. Kayaking will allow you to get closer to the wildlife and the scenery while diving will reveal the underwater wonders of the fjord, such as black coral, sea stars, and anemones 8. Flight seeing will give you a bird's eye view of the fjord and its surroundings, and is especially breathtaking on a clear day. Milford Sound is about 4 hours drive from Queenstown or 2 hours from Tianao 8. You can either drive yourself or join a coach tour that will take care of the transportation and the cruise for you. The road to Milford Sound is scenic but winding and narrow so be prepared for some sharp turns and possible delays due to weather or traffic. Milford Sound is a must-see for anyone visiting New Zealand, and it will leave you speechless with its beauty and majesty. Queenstown. The next place on our list is Queenstown, a resort town on the shores of Lake Wakataku in the South Island. Queenstown is known as the adventure capital of New Zealand, and for good reason. Here you can find a wide range of activities that will get your adrenaline pumping, such as bungee jumping, skydiving, jet boating, rafting, skiing, and snowboarding 9. But Queenstown is not only for thrill seekers. It also offers plenty of options for relaxation and enjoyment such as scenic walks, golf courses, wineries, spas, and restaurants 9. You can also take a gondola ride to the top of Bob's Peak and enjoy panoramic views of the town and the lake. Queenstown is about 6 hours drive from Christchurch or 4 hours from Dunedin 9. You can also fly directly to Queenstown Airport from major cities in New Zealand or Australia. Queenstown has a variety of accommodation options to suit different budgets and preferences, from hostels and motels to hotels and apartments. Queenstown is a great place to base yourself for exploring the South Island, as it is close to many other attractions such as Milford Sound, Wanaka, Mount Cook and Fairland National Park. You can also take day trips to nearby towns such as Arrowtown, Lenorkey, and Cromwell. Queenstown is a vibrant and fun-filled town that will keep you entertained and amazed with its endless possibilities. Waitomo Glowworm Caves the third place on our list is Waitomo Glowworm Caves, a network of limestone caves in the North Island that are home to thousands of glowworms. These tiny creatures produce a bioluminescent light that creates a magical effect in the dark caves. The best way to see the glowworms is by taking a guided tour that will take you through the caves by boat or by foot. You will learn about the history and geology of the caves, as well as the life cycle and behavior of the glowworms. You will also get to see some of the cave formations, such as stalactites, stalagmites, and columns. 
If you are looking for more adventure, you can also try black water rafting, which involves floating on a rubber tube through the caves or abseiling, which involves descending into the caves on a rope. These activities will give you a different perspective of the caves and the glowworms, and are suitable for anyone with a moderate level of fitness. Waitomo Glowworm Caves are about two and a half hours drive from Auckland or one and a half hours from Hamilton. You can either drive yourself or join a coach tour that will take you there and back. The caves are open every day except Christmas Day, and you need to book your tour in advance to secure your spot. Waitomo Glowworm Caves are a unique and enchanting attraction that will make you feel like you are in a fairy tale. Franz Joseph Glacier The fourth place on our list is Franz Joseph Glacier, a 12-kilometer long glacier in the west coast region of the South Island. Franz Josef Glacier is one of the most accessible glaciers in the world, as it descends from the Southern Alps to less than 300 meters above sea level. The best way to see Franz Josef Glacier is by taking a guided walk or a helicopter flight. A guided walk will take you to the terminal face of the glacier, where you can see the ice formations and crevices up close. A helicopter flight will take you over the glacier and land on a snowfield, where you can walk on the ice and enjoy the views. If you are feeling adventurous, you can also try ice climbing, which involves using crampons and ice axes to ascend the glacier walls. This activity is suitable for anyone with a reasonable level of fitness and no previous experience required. Franz Joseph Glacier is about 5 hours drive from Queenstown or 3 hours from Greymouth. You can also fly directly to Franz Josef Glacier Airport from Christchurch or Wellington. Franz Josef Glacier has a range of accommodation options to suit different budgets and preferences, from campsites and backpackers to motels and hotels. Franz Josef Glacier is a stunning natural wonder that will give you an unforgettable experience of walking on ice. Fox Glacier The fifth place on our list is Fox Glacier, another glacier in the west coast region of the South Island. Fox Glacier is similar to Franz Josef Glacier, but slightly longer at 13 kilometers. It also descends from the Southern Alps to less than 300 meters above sea level. The best way to see Fox Glacier is by taking a guided walk or a helicopter flight. A guided walk will take you to the terminal face of the glacier, where you can see the ice formations and crevices up close. A helicopter flight will take you over the glacier and land on a snowfield, where you can walk on the ice and enjoy the views. If you are feeling adventurous, you can also try ice climbing, which involves using crampons and ice axes to ascend the glacier walls. This activity is suitable for anyone with a reasonable level of fitness and no previous experience required. Fox Glacier is about five and a half hours drive from Queenstown or three and a half hours from Greymouth. You can also fly directly to Fox Glacier Airport from Christchurch or Wellington. Fox Glacier has a range of accommodation options to suit different budgets and preferences, from campsites and backpackers to motels and hotels. Fox Glacier is another stunning natural wonder that will give you an unforgettable experience of walking on ice. Tongariro National Park The sixth place on our list is Tongariro National Park, a UNESCO World Heritage Site in the central North Island. Tongariro National Park is home to three active volcanoes, Mount Ruapihu, Mount Ngoruho, and Mount Tongariro. It also features diverse landscapes, such as alpine meadows, forests, lakes, and hot springs. The best way to explore Tongariro National Park 
is by hiking or skiing. Hiking enthusiasts will love the Tongariro Alpine Crossing, a 19.4-kilometer one-day trek that takes you across volcanic terrain, past emerald lakes and craters. Skang enthusiasts will love Wekapapa and Turo Ski Field, which offer slopes for all levels of ability. If you are looking for more adventure, you can also try rafting, mountain biking, or scenic flights in Tongariro National Park. Rafting will take you through rapids and waterfalls on the Tongariro River. Mountain biking will take you along trails that offer views of the volcanoes and the park. Scenic flights will give you an aerial view of the park and its surroundings, and are especially stunning on a clear day. Tongariro National Park is about 4 hours drive from Auckland or 2 hours from Rotorua. You can also fly directly to Tapo Airport from Auckland or Wellington. Tongariro National Park has a range of accommodation options to suit different budgets and preferences, from campsites and lodges to motels and hotels. Tongariro National Park is a fascinating and fun-filled place that will give you a taste of New Zealand's natural and cultural wonders. Mount Cook The seventh place on our list is Mount Cook, also known as Auraki, the highest mountain in New Zealand. Mount Cook is located in the Auraki slash Mount Cook National Park, a UNESCO World Heritage Site in the Canterbury region of the South Island. Mount Cook has a height of 3,724 meters and is surrounded by glaciers, snowfields, and alpine lakes. The best way to see Mount Cook is by taking a scenic flight or a hike. A scenic flight will take you over the mountain and its neighbors, such as Mount Tasman and Mount Sefton, and give you a spectacular view of the Southern Alps. A hike will take you along one of the many trails in the park, such as the Hooker Valley Track, which leads to a glacial lake with views of Mount Cook. If you are looking for more adventure, you can also try skiing, mountaineering, or stargazing in Mount Cook. Skiing will take you down some of the longest runs in New Zealand, with options for heli skiing and ski touring. Mountaineering will challenge you to climb the peak of Mount Cook or one of its neighbors, with guided trips available for all levels of experience. Stargazing will amaze you with the clear night sky and the stars of the Southern Hemisphere. Mount Cook is about 4 hours drive from Christchurch or 5 hours from Queenstown. You can also fly directly to Mount Cook Airport from Christchurch or Wellington. Mount Cook has a range of accommodation options to suit different budgets and preferences, from campsites and lodges to motels and hotels. Mount Cook is a stunning natural wonder that will give you an unforgettable experience of New Zealand's highest mountain. The Bay of Islands The eighth place on our list is the Bay of Islands, a coastal region in the Northland region of the North Island. The Bay of Islands consists of over 140 islands, many of which are uninhabited and protected as part of the Bay of Islands Maritime Park. The Bay of Islands is known for its stunning scenery, rich marine life, and historical significance. The best way to explore the Bay of Islands is by taking a boat cruise or a kayak tour. A boat cruise will take you around some of the islands and show you some of their highlights, such as the Hole in the Rock, a natural archway formed by erosion, or Rurupuka Puka Island, the largest island in the bay with walking tracks and archaeological sites. A kayak tour will let you paddle along the coastline and discover hidden cubs and beaches. If you are looking for more adventure, you can also try sailing, fishing, or diving in the Bay of Islands. Sailing will let you experience the bay at your own pace and enjoy the breeze and the views. Fishing will let you catch some of the abundant fish species in the bay, such as snapper, kingfish, and marlin. Diving will let you explore the underwater world of the bay with reefs, wrecks, and marine reserves. The Bay of Islands is about three hours drive from Auckland or one hour from Wangaree. You can also fly directly to Karakari Airport from Auckland or Wellington. The Bay of Islands has a range of accommodation options to suit different budgets and preferences, from campsites and backpackers to motels and hotels. The Bay of Islands is a beautiful and relaxing place that will make you fall in love with New Zealand's coastal charm.
Rotorua. The ninth place on our list is Rotorua, a city in the central North Island that is famous for its geothermal activity and Maori culture. Rotorua sits on the edge of a large volcanic caldera that produces hot springs, geysers, mud pools, and steam vents. Rotorua is also home to many Maori villages where you can learn about their history and traditions. The best way to experience Rotorua is by visiting some of its attractions and activities. You can visit Tepuya, a geothermal park that features Pohuta Geyser, which erupts up to 30 meters high, or Yo Tapu Thermal Wonderland, which showcases colorful pools and terraces. You can also visit Wakarwerwa Village, a living Nuri village that offers cultural performances and tours, or Tameki Nuri Village, which offers an immersive evening experience with a traditional hangi feast and a show. If you are looking for more adventure, you can also try rafting, ziplining, or mountain biking in Rotorua. Rafting will take you through rapids and waterfalls on the Kaituna River, which has the highest commercially rafted waterfall in the world at 7 meters. Ziplining will take you through the canopy of a native forest, with views of lakes and geothermal features. Mountain biking will take you along some of the best trails in New Zealand, with options for all levels of ability. Rotorua is about 3 hours drive from Auckland or 1 hour from Hamilton. You can also fly directly to Rotorua Airport from Auckland, Wellington, or Christchurch. Rotorua has a range of accommodation options to suit different budgets and preferences, from campsites and motels to hotels and resorts. Rotorua is a fascinating and fun-filled place that will give you a taste of New Zealand's natural and cultural wonders. Auckland. The tenth and final place on our list is Auckland, the largest and most populous city in New Zealand. Auckland is located on the North Island and is surrounded by two harbors, the Waitemata and the Manuka. Auckland is known as the City of Sails because of its many yachts and boats that dot the water. Auckland is also known for its diversity, vibrancy, and cosmopolitan flair. The best way to see Auckland is by visiting some of its landmarks and attractions. You can visit the Sky Tower, the tallest structure in New Zealand, at 328 meters, which offers panoramic views of the city and its surroundings, or the Auckland Museum, which showcases the history and culture of New Zealand and its people. You can also visit the Auckland Art Gallery, which houses the largest collection of art in New Zealand, or the Auckland Zoo, which has over 1,400 animals from around the world. If you are looking for more adventure, you can also try sailing, bungee jumping, or hiking in Auckland. Sailing will let you enjoy the harbor and the islands, with options for chartering a yacht or joining a cruise. Bungee jumping will let you experience the thrill of jumping from the harbor bridge or the sky tower. Hiking will let you explore some of the scenic trails in and around Auckland, such as the Coast to Coast Walkway or the Rangitoto Summit Track. Auckland is about one hour drive from Hamilton or three hours from Rotorua. You can also fly directly to Auckland Airport from major cities in New Zealand or Australia. Auckland has a range of accommodation options to suit different budgets and preferences, from hostels and motels to hotels and apartments. Auckland is a lively and diverse place that will give you a glimpse of New Zealand's urban side. That's it for this travel guide video. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. New Zealand is a wonderful country with so much to offer to every traveler. Whether you are looking for nature, culture, or adventure, you will find it here. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more travel tips and inspiration. Thank you for watching and see you next time.